Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to another videos for question and answer session and it is dedicated for MRCS examine who wants to pass the MRCS exam very easily. So here the question, first of all read the question very carefully. Which of the following forms the floor of anatomical snap box? So it is one of the short question and direct question that the anatomical snap box which usually lies in the wrist so which form the floor of the anatomical snap box we know that the anatomical snap box it has medial boundary lateral boundary floor roof also among them which structure form the floor of the anatomical snap box so here the options the options are radial artery cephalic vein extensor pollicis brevis scaphoid bone and cutaneous branch of the radial nerve so we have to find out one of the options which form the base uh, which form the base or floor of the anatomical snap box so we have to find out an uh, option so here we can see this is the anatomical snap box here so if we see boundary here from here so this is the anatomical snap box and we can see here in the one side it is formed by on tendon this is the extensor pollicis longus in the other side we can see there are two important mass uh, tendon which form the another boundary and this is the extensor pollicis brevis and abductor pollicis longus so these three important tendon it form the two important boundaries so the muscle tendon also and uh, again here extensor pollicis longus extensor pollicis brevis and abductor pollicis longus and here we can see this tendon also and we can see some other structure here is this is the anatomical snap box and in the anatomical snap box here we can see the anterolateral boundary it is formed by extensor pollicis longus and here we can see the posterior medial it is formed by the two tendon one is the abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis and here we can see through the uh, anatomical snap box there is the radial artery passes and we also can see this is a vein which is also present in the anatomical snap box this is the cephalic vein so the two important structure passes through the anatomical snap box one is the radial artery and another one is the cephalic vein and two important boundary anteromedial by extensor pollicis longus this is the extensor pollicis longus but posterior medial here we can see the here also the extensor pollicis but it is not longus it is the brevis and abductor pollicis longus and in the second picture here we can see this is the anatomical snap box and here in the anterolateral boundary it is formed by the extensor pollicis longus and posterior medial it is formed by the extensor pollicis brevis and abductor pollicis longus and here we can see the base it is formed by the scaphoid bones and this total is the anatomical snap box and this is in very short about the anatomical snap box here we can see the posterior boundary or posterior medial boundary and this posterior medial boundary it is formed by the tendon of extensor pollicis longus uh, so in uh, previous uh, slide i uh, told it is uh, anterolateral it is not anterolateral it is the posterior medial posterior medial only one and this is the extensor pollicis longus and sorry posterior medial and anterolateral the anterolateral it is formed by the two important tendon and in the previous slide it was uh, to the posterior medial but not posterior medial it is the anterolateral anterolaterally there is the two important tendon one is the extensor pollicis brevis and another one is the abductor pollicis longus so this two important boundary is very very important this is first of all posterior medial it is formed by the extensor pollicis longus and anterolateral it is formed by the tendon of extensor pollicis brevis and abductor pollicis longus on the other hand the proximal border it is formed by steroid process of the radius we know that there are two important steroid process in case of wrist one for radius and another for calna and 
in case of anatomical snap box the proximal border is formed by steroid process of the radius then distal border it is formed by the apex of the snap box so the distal border is formed by the apex of the snap box and floor floor is formed by the trapezius and scaphoid trapezium and scaphoid so two important bones here and these two important bones it form the floor of the anatomical snap box one is trapezium and another one is scaphoid and contents in the anatomical snap box there is the radial artery but we also saw in the picture that the cephalic vein also crosses the anatomical snap box as the cephalic vein it is the most superficial vein of the anatomical snap box so it usually not content but it crosses the anatomical snap box but radial artery it lies in the deep uh, deep space and it located within the anatomical snap box but in where the radial artery is not present the cephalic vein will be the answer so this important information is enough for mrcs exam here we can see again posterior medial posterior medial one only one tendon and this tendon is tendon of extensor pollicis longus then anterolateral to important tendon then tendon of extensor pollicis brevis and abductor pollicis longus then proximal border it is formed by steroid process of the radius then distal border it is formed by the apex of anatomical snap box triangle floor by two important bones one is the trapezium another one is the scaphoid and content radial artery but cephalic vein crosses the anatomical snap box so here now we can see the floor of the anatomical snap box the floor and this floor is formed by the two bones one is scaphoid another one trapezium in the option only scaphoid is present so our answer will be the scaphoid bones other options here such as the radial artery the radial artery is not from floor because the radial artery it is the direct content of the anatomical snap box here we can see another option cephalic vein cephalic vein lies superficial to the extensor retina photo or retina column of the disc joint so it is not content but it crosses over the anatomical snap box here we can see the extensor pollicis brevis extensor pollicis brevis it's from the anterior lateral boundary of anatomical snap box and cutaneous branch of the radial nerve cutaneous branch of the radial nerve it lies usually the extensor aspect of the wrist joint so it also not from the floor of the anatomical snap box so our final answer this is the scaphoid bone but if scaphoid bone not present then there will be the options trapezium here we can see this is the trapezium so in that case trapezium will be present in the answer option thank you